Hello guys, so Microsoft finally said something about the issue that we were all complaining about. The whole thing that we're going to have to pay 60 more dollars a year to play Xbox Live. So, there, there, it was a big, big, big issue. All of us were complaining, you know. It's funny how my video actually didn't release by the time I made this video. It didn't premiere or air yet, but... It's an absolutely ridiculous the fact that Microsoft just want it just looked like Microsoft just want to take your money away and and want to get your money and I was worried that this is, this was going to create ripples around the gaming industry. Sony was going to do exactly the same thing. Nintendo was going to do the same thing. But it seems that Microsoft did the right choice and backpedaled on the whole, you know thing of more expensive games you know not no, more expensive xbox live unlike sony microsoft basically said we don't want if you want your games more expensive you can see you can, we'll, we'll see it seemed that microsoft was actually warning from the mistakes but very recently microsoft said oh we're going to double the price of xbox live so you can buy our game pass service you know, I don't know why they don't just include Game Pass of Xbox Live. It's just weird. They really want to promote people to buy it that badly. Why don't you just promote it, put it with Xbox Live? Hey, you get you get this thing. We get to play all these games too with Xbox Live. They also confirmed that the that free to play games will be. You won't need Xbox Live anymore for free to play games. So you won't need Xbox Live to play Fortnite. So if you play Fortnite, it wouldn't really be an issue anyways, because they said that it was gonna be free to play, regardless if you had online or not. But any big paid games, you'll still need Xbox Live. Buy all the fit, chat features and stuff, and the free games that you get as well. And I've been using Xbox Live for like the past six or seven years, I think. You know, it's I think the first time I got Xbox Live was when Halo, you know, Combat Evolved Remastered came out. You know, I played that online, you know, stuff like that. But it seems that Microsoft has actually backpedaled on the whole goal of, you know, ma making you pay more money for Xbox Live. Okay. I think they, they, they have backpedaled on it. We don't have to worry about, you know, Xbox Live costing so much money, you know, which is completely ridiculous. They have to pay so much money to play online. You know, one hundred twenty dollars. That's a lot of money. That's that I think that's that's more expensive than two games. Of course, if you go and let's see, you're talking to Activision. Well, it's still one game because they because they bumped the price to seventy dollars, which is absolute greed. You know that no one's gonna like. But it seems that Microsoft has actually pulled their head out of the sand. You know, and to listen and said, you know what, we're not gonna do it. This it's making everybody angry. We're gonna continue to do it the way it is. You know, I hope game developers finally listen to see that seventy dollars is too much for a game. And again, you will have the people saying, but you know, games cost too much money. You know, seventy dollars is necessary. Blah blah blah. You have these people. Most of them are you know whales. Anyways, they have a lot of money. You know, they're the ones who pay for all the microtransactions, you know, all those people. Oh, but cars of development, even though they force microtransactions in like every big game now, every big game is not, except for them playing Nintendo games, are not immune to microtransactions. And it just seems, it's just pretty weird that Microsoft gets away with this type of stuff, you know, and, you know, all these other companies. They got away with the seventy dollar price tag, but it seems that Microsoft has backpedaled on this, you know, thing. So it's a good win for all of us, you know, all of us. We won't have to worry about the ripple effect in gaming. Usually, when you know a bad thing happens, it's successful. I.e., loot boxes, i.e., microtransactions. All game companies start doing it. It's a pretty bad thing for everybody else. You know, microtransactions on disc DLC, you know, wolf, you know, you know, other types of DLC, you know, 
as well. You know, DLC that's completely pointless and worthless. I can go on and on and on about that stuff. But, yep. That's basically it about this video. You know, DLC and all that stuff. You know, it is a good thing because you get the, you get more content after the game comes out. out but you have to pay for it. You know, you know, still. But you get new characters, new storylines. But now DLC has risen. Oh, you have to pay $5 for a character. Every company now does this, okay? You know, even Nintendo does this. Let's look at Smash Bros. Fighters Pass, okay? That is just gives like one new character and that's it. If you buy the DLCs individually. You know, DLCs now are such a common place in every game now. I, I just hope that random price hikes are not the norm in the gaming industry. You know, again, there's going to be there's something called inflation. You know, inflation does happen. Things get more expensive, I know. It's something that we don't like, but it usually happens. But, yep, that's basically it about this video. Goodbye.